Hi everyone, welcome back to you, me and the family or if you are new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah for anyone that doesn't know. I'm a mum of four, ranging from 15 years down to a two year old and we live in the southeast of England. Today I have got my first weekly haul from Aldi for the new year. Um, I had, didn't need to do much of a shop in between Christmas and New Year and last week because um, we still had a lot of food in. But now we're coming, we needed some more fresh bits and some packed lunch bits and stuff like that. So I popped to Aldi. I'm not going to tell you how much this all came to. I want you to write in the comments and try and guess how much this all cost. Um, I've wrote the prices on things so you can see how much they cost as of January 2023. I'm saying that because prices are still going up and chances are these things, some of these things are going to double in price in the next couple of months. But you never know, some things might go down if we're really lucky. I mean, we moan about the price of some of our food, but it is still quite cheap compared to other countries. But those countries, <laughs> we're not used to that these prices, so it is a bit of a shocker for all of us. So like I said, it's a bit of everything, packed lunch stuff, fresh produce and stuff like that. So I will start over to my left and then I'll work my way across the counter and I'll tell you the prices as we go. So we'll start over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I got three bottles of this luxurious fabric conditioner. It's strawberry and magnolia. It was one forty nine. I got a bottle of this before, and I absolutely love it. It really does make your washing smell so gorgeous, and it lasts a long long time on your washing as well. And being winter, and the kids' clothes getting so muddy. I am going through a lot of washing, so that's why I got three bottles of that. I got two packets of the Mamiya Sensitive Wet Wipes. You get six packets in the box, and they were three fifty nine each. Um, we are only using Aldi and Lidl Wet Wipes at the moment because we're not getting on with any other brand with Nathan's Bottom. And Aldi is the only place that I can find now that are selling it by the box. My local Lidl are literally just selling individual bag, uh, packets. So that's why I bought two boxes while I was there. At the back, I got a packet of the nappies, the jumbo pack of nappies, size 5 plus, 4 .99. These, as well as the pull-ups from Lidl and Aldi, are what Nathan uses during the day, and then he uses Pampers during the night. Um, in the centre aisle, they had some packed lunch bits, <coughs> and um, for Steve, we bought him a microwave to go to work for his um, part of his Christmas presents so that he can start having a bit more of a variety for his lunches and some warm lunches. And they had these free pack of divided lunch boxes. Yes, granted, he probably won't use the pink one. Me or Hayley or um, even Chloe might use that one. But it was three in a pack for three ninety nine. And I got the two sectioned one, which is here. And then if I move it, I have opened this one. I got a, pull back a bit, one with three sections in. So you get the lids and then that is what it looks like in the middle. So I thought I could put some yogurt in one section, his main bit in there when I cook some leftovers if he has it. And then he can either microwave it or just has it as it is. So he's got two packets of lunch boxes now because he did just break his lunch box as well. <coughs> Sorry. I got two packet, well, two bottles of this Lenore Crease Release. It's 2 49 in Audi at the moment. I got the um where is it? Spring Awakening, which is very nice. But then my favourite, the exotic bloom. And they really do help reduce your ironing, ladies and gentlemen, if you do the ironing. Um, here I got some nice treats for the kids pack lunches, being back at school and everything. These are new. These are cookies and cream flavoured filled waffles. They were one twenty-five each. And you get eight waffles, but they're bunched together in two in twos individual. So the, once you open this big pack, 
they'll stay nice and fresh in there as well and then i got the chocolate filled ones as well if the kids want them warm they can just put them in the microwave and it will make the um, filling nice and soft and oozy and then for anyone that has breakfast on the go this week or next week cause these have a long life on them i got them some chocolate sugar coated waffles or sorry chocolate sugar waffles and then some plain sugar waffles again these are individually wrapped so they're great to have in the cupboard for anyone that has needs to have breakfast on the go because they're running late <coughs> sorry guys i'm still recovering from being ill over the christmas period this virus just is lingering no matter what i do um i saw these in the middle aisle and i thought they'd be fantastic to try they are rich and flaky for corals they're croissant rolls and my kids like croissants and they like rolls but i thought these would be either used for breakfasts with um cheese and bacon or a nice jam filling in if they heat it up or we could do it for their packed lunches so it's completely up to them but they were normally 89p and they were reduced down to 49p so i picked up two of them i got two packets of nathan's usual chocolate chip brioche rolls they are one pound five each i got a nice treat for the rest of the family the chocolate chip brioche loaf um, that was one forty nine. The boys haven't had these for a while. The Metro Rolls. We always get the Italian style. They prefer them. Um, they have already had two out of this packet. Because I had to make their lunches this morning. Before I done this video for you. Um, they have gone up. They're 95p. And I bought two packets to last the boys a week. Two packets of crumpets for bre breakfast for Hayley and then some lunches for Nathan, 39p each. And then I got four packets of Scotch pancakes because I do make um, French crepes for breakfast as well as I do make American style pancakes on the weekend. And then we put them in the fridge for the kids to just reuse throughout the week. They just got to microwave them. But um, Scotch pancakes are a nice change and Chloe likes them as well. And they were 45 peach and we got four of them. Two will probably go in the freezer and two will be used this week. A big amount of big pots of yoghurt. <coughs> they are 99p each. Shane has took a liking to yoghurt with some cereal put in it. Usually like um, granola and stuff. Same as Steve likes yoghurt of an evening. So we've got three pots of the strawberry. And then three big pots of the vanilla. I thought the vanilla would be fantastic for a nice pudding with some of the um, crunchy crisps on top or some chocolate sprinkles that I have in the cupboard that need using. I got two full pints of full fat milk. That's 165. This is what Nathan drinks and what the kids tend to have on their cereals if they do have them. Steve picked up some chocolate flavoured milk for him and Nathan, although Nathan hasn't had any yet. Steve's had it. And that was pound five. I got a big tub of coleslaw for Steve to go in his sub rolls with his ham. And as you can see, it's already opened because I had to make the packed lunches this morning. Ham, one seventy five again for packed lunches. Corned beef, one ninety nine for 10 slices. That's open because I had to make lunches. And then I got some British roast chicken. 179 for sandwiches during the week and on the weekend <clears throat> i got two packets of the everyday essential sausage rolls they're literally just for a quick and easy snack after school or an emergency pat lunch when i don't feel up to making them and the kids are being lazy little so-and-sos and won't help me out and make their own they'll just grab them and put them in their pat lunches so 99, 95p for each, and there's two of them. Four classic pork pies for snacks and pat lunches. They're pound five. I did get three packets of these apple and grape snack packs for showing for his pat lunches. Um, I couldn't just get the apple, but he doesn't mind. I mean, I normally just put grapes in there and then apple, but 
he's got extra grapes um i only got three packets because one for today which is tuesday wednesday he doesn't have school lunch have lunch at schools and then thursday and friday so that's for them i got some salad tomatoes to go as side salads um and in sandwiches I got some baby plum tomatoes for side salads because I have got a couple of um, Gusto boxes for the next couple of weeks because we've got discounts and how I bulk the meals out is just putting veggies and salads on the side of the meal. So that's why I've got them. Two heads of broccoli, 69p each. That's for a meal this week. A big iceberg lettuce, 60p. A big bag of British red apples. They were two fifty nine. Me and Nathan tend to have um, two of these cut up at lunchtime, and we just sit there snacking on it after we've had our lunch. I got some red grapes, green grapes, and black grapes. They were all one seventy five each. Everyone has their own preference. Like Haley prefers the red. I prefer the black. Steve prefers the green and so does Chloe and then Shane just likes all of them so that's why we've got them. I've got a pineapple at the back for um, packed lunches and puddings this week. A honeydew melon that is 169 The pineapple was 89p. Four individual red peppers because they're on um, their super six this week down to 29p so I've got four of them. Two probably for the guinea pigs and then two for our dinners. Down the front here I've got some Granny Smith apples, 129. They're for Steve's pat lunches. Some baby cucumbers. I know I tend to put sliced cucumber in Hayley and Shane's pat lunches, but Chloe won't take sliced cucumbers. So this is how I can get a veggie into Chloe for her lunch. It's just a baby cucumber. Um I know it's a bit pointless paying 95p just for baby ones, but if it gets her eating some vegetables, that is what I'm going to do. So um, they're 95p. She'll have one of them in her lunchbox this week each, and then obviously the kids, the other two, will probably have some as well. I've got two packets of baby corn, 125 each. That's for a side of our dinners. The Monge 2 was on their Super 6 as well. That was 69p, so I got one bag of that. Two cucumbers for packed lunches and sandwiches, 69p each. Some ripen at home kiwis, 95p. Trying to add a bit of variety to the fruit bowl this week. Nathan's usual bananas, because um, we bought two bunches and they were put on the um, conveyor belt at different times he didn't weigh them all together so this bunch cost 84p and then this bunch was 56p i got a watermelon for a nice treat for puddings and to go in the packed lunches that was three pound nine i got some green beans here 82p for a side of dinner steve needed some more coffee so he chose this one it was 245 nine cans of their baked beans they're 39p and i know i could get cheaper baked beans and i could get more dearer um i do get cheaper ones to go in recipes but the kids like aldi baked beans for the sides of like chips and whatnot so dinner sides and we use two tins for a meal each so that's why i got so many plus my little stockpile of beans has been depleting where i haven't been to aldi for quite some time so that's why I've got nine packets of them. At the back, I got some fruit and grain cereal bars. We've got the apple, the blueberry, and then down at the bottom, we've got the strawberry. Um, all the kids and Steve eat them now. So they're 95p a packet and you get six bars. So that is for their pet lunches and for a little morning snack if Nathan gets hungry. I got a jar of sweet and sour cooking sauce for Steve. He's the only one that eats sweet and sour. And I'm thinking of making him a sweet and sour chicken and rice dish for work a couple of days over this week or next. So that he has a hot meal then. Um, some 
Double strength apple and strawberry squash. That's 99p. And then at the back, I've got two boxes of craze. They are £1.5 each. That tends to be Haley's cereal of choice. I do have a large variety of cereals on the go because the kids like to pick a mix. But they are running down, so I'm going to start buying some more cereals. Um, a sea salt grinder. That was £1.19 because I tend to like ground salt rather than table salt. Um, Steve chose his caramel latte sachets. I don't know if they're for work or here, or he might take some there, some here. They were 85p. Got some wonky blueberries for Nathan. Some jelly pots that I thought were still a good price down at Aldi. They're 199 for six. Um, I probably won't be buying these again. If I'm to do the kids' jelly, I'll buy the blocks and make it myself. It's more cost effective, but Chloe Haley was really enjoying jelly in her lunchbox. But I'm not paying $1.99 for six pots anymore. Blueberries, like I said, 99p. Some raspberries for $1.89. And then down here, my treat, some Malwan pinballs. Steve put this flick and mix, like big bag of sugary sweets in there for everyone, I think. One twenty nine. although I don't know why because you've got enough sweets for them all and chocolate. Um, I keep seeing these sort of new rices that are coming out on other people's hauls and I thought this would be great for Steve to add a bit of variety in his lunchbox with either a chicken breast and a bit of salad. Um, this was the only one I could find. It is the Bang Bang Rice, a Chinese inspired hot and spicy hot and spicy rice with sweet tangy and savory flavorings so i think he'll like that i'd literally just i wouldn't microwave it beforehand i'd just break it all up put it in his dish and then he microwaves it at work that was 75p and then at the back some mini cheese bakes two packets 79p and you get eight bags in the pack they're for pack lunches a six pack of the ridged variety thick cut crisps, salt and vinegar, ready salted and cheese and onion. And then the meat flavour, which is Thai sweet chicken, flame grilled steak and bacon sizzlers. They were 95p a, 95p a bag. So that's for packed lunches and weekend. And then I saw these and I thought Steve would like these in his packed lunch. I'll divide them out into smaller bags. It's Fire Hot Mega Puffs, um, 75p, so I thought that would be a nice change in variety for him. <clears throat> so that is everything that I bought today, well, yesterday in Aldi. So I'd like you to pause this video and write down in the comments how much you think I spent, okay? And then if you've paused it now, dun dun dun. I will now tell you, <laughs> now that you're back, that all of this cost me £120.55p. Seems a lot, but we needed a lot of fresh produce and packed lunch stuff and all that lot, like I said. And prices are going up on everything. So that is the end of this video. I will insert a meal plan at the end so you can see what I'm aiming to cook this week. It might not stick to it, but... I aim to and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are new here and haven't done so already and have seen a few of my videos please subscribe I'd love to have you part of our YouTube family it really really does mean a lot that I've got so many followers already it is really building my confidence and I'm loving all the nice kind comments that I've been getting over Christmas I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and I hope this year brings you everything you want okay i'm gonna get this stuff away and i will see you again shortly bye for this week's dinners we have i haven't wrote mondays because monday's been and gone tomorrow tonight we are having creamy chicken potato topped pie which is this degusto not de gusto, gusto, 
menu, well, recipe card. And then on Wednesday, I've got parent-teacher meetings at my son's school. So we need a quick and easy dinner. So we've got sweet and smoky barbecue fajitas, which is, again, a gusto recipe. So that is what we're going to be having. On Thursday, we are going to have lemon pepper chicken with sweet mash. I'll do the sweet mash because I like sweet potatoes and I'm going to try Nathan with them. But the others don't, so I'll probably just end up doing normal mash for them. And this is, again, a gusto meal and the recipe card. Hopefully it turns out nice. And then on Friday, we've got a gusto butter chicken, which we're all looking forward to. Hopefully there'll be enough for us all, but I'll put a side salad on there and serve it with some naans to hopefully bulk it out. Saturday is going to be a make-do dinner. I've got loads of food in the freezers still, so we're just going to raid the freezers. And then Sunday will be a roast. I don't know what joint of meat yet because I've got them all in the freezer. We'll just have to wait and see. So that is our meal plan for the week. If you guys are interested in these Gusto meals, I'll put a link below for you um, so you can get a discount code if you click on the link and sign up. I think you get 50% off as well. So with this way, the um, food prices are going up. It helps getting some money off and it would um, give you some fresh ideas on what to cook. So you get out of the rut if you're in one like I am. But I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you like this video. Comments down below. I'd love to have a chit chat. I'm a bit bored. And I will see you again soon. Bye.